Hi, this is Firestarter and this is my review of the Kingdom Hearts Play Arts Volume 2 action figure Sephiroth. And this is the casing that came with the whole set. And we have here some of the details like the Kingdom Hearts logo and Disney, Square Enix products, um, Kingdom Hearts Play Arts Volume 2, number 6 Sephiroth action figure and his photo here on the side and some of the warnings in three languages it's same on top of the tab and at the back his photo here of the actual figure and it also includes some details about Sora and Cloud. Now let's get to know Sephiroth and let's see what he has inside. Just like Cloud, this Final Fantasy based figure also comes with an adjustable stand that allows Sephiroth to stand perfectly and really helps in placing this on display without him falling off. Also included is the interchangeable holding hand and his very very ridiculously long sword. Placing the hand pose is no issue and sliding the sword on his hand is the smoothest transition I ever had for a figure. So articulation points for um, Sephiroth, we have a ball jointed head, you can move that from left to right. But some uh, sometimes the hair extension um, or his long locks do hit on the wing so um, there's no way to adjust the hair accordingly so it really bumps into the wing um, part here and then we have um, shoulders do double joints on the elbow I mean single not double a peg here so it turns the hand turns 360 we have a uh, waist articulation and hip and joint too it's quite hindered because of the coat extension here at the back and then we have a single joint on the ankle and then it swivels too so you can spread those legs out and do some action poses for a separate off last but not the least is the wing blue wing um that is latched on a um, sort of a revoltic ball joint uh, and then you can rest the crevice here on this side of the wing so that it stays still like this so um, without it it does fall down quite easily because it doesn't hold on to something else it's a it's a good thing that they even included that on mine or they have use that thought to um, so that Sephiroth does look nice and uh, without any problems with the wing. No, I'm really liking the wing. It's somewhat like Cloud but um, this, is, this is more feathery while Cloud has a bad wing effect and then um, because they both have pointy stuff going on the wing. For some reason I'm, I'm seeing that Se Sephiroth is not standing up straight and he, the uh, upper torso is on a angle or on a curve so that uh, I mean it really helps if he does have a ab joint here so you can adjust those but he, he always leans towards the back um, kind of annoying if you tend to see Sephiroth on one one side but uh, looking looking at him in the front really looks nice. Sephiroth is one of those figures that is good to look at but poor in playability. I'm not saying that Sephiroth is a bad figure to have. It's one of those nice to have as a display rather than playing it with other figures. Nevertheless, Sephiroth is one of those proof of concepts that Square Enix can really do a fantastic job on a figure based on a game. But I cannot blame Square Enix for this figure because it was created a about more than seven years ago. Since then, Square Enix has developed play arts from what it is today. It makes you wonder what else Square Enix can do for the next decade if they are going to produce game-based figures with highly detailed sculpting and fantastic paint job just like this one. 
So if you want to know the possibilities for this figure, do check out the photos at the end of the video and also subscribe to my blog spot for the full review. This is Firestarter, thank you very much for watching and see you on my next review.